Hi! Welcome back sa aking channel. At kung bago pa lang kayo dito ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong math tutorial videos. Ang pag-aaralan naman natin ngayon ay isa sa mga special products which is the square of a binomial. Okay, so let's find the product of 5x plus 3 times the quantity of 5x plus 3. So the product is equal to 25x squared plus 30x plus 9. So tingnan natin kung paano nakuha yung 25x squared plus 30x plus 9 using FOIL method. Okay, so yung 25x squared nakuha natin sa pag-multiply ng first term. So 5x times 5x is 25x squared. And then yung 30x, nakuha naman natin sa pag-multiply or combined product ng ating outer term and inner term. So, 5x times 3 is 15x and then 3 times 5x is 15x and then 15x plus 15x is 30x. And then, yung 9 naman is product of our last term. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 3. 9 Okay, let's analyze the given problem Okay, so kung mapapansin natin parehas yung ating first and second factor So, ibig sabihin pwede natin siyang gawing ganito So, ito yung tinatawag natin na square of a binomial Now, look at the product We have the first term middle term, and last term. So, how many terms do we have in the product? 3. So, remember, yung product class ng square of a binomial is a perfect square trinomial. Okay, so, proceed tayo kung paano ba dapat isolve ang square of a binomial. Para makuha natin yung first term ng ating product, square lang natin class yung 5x. So, magiging 5x raised to the second power or 5x times 5x is equal to 25x squared. Again, our first step is square the first term. Sa middle term naman, multiply lang natin yung first and last term. So, 5x times 3 is equal to 15x. So, pagkatapos natin i-multiply yung ating first and last term, multiply pa natin sa 2. So, bali magiging 5x times 3 times 2 is equal to 30x. Second step, twice the product of the first and last term. And then, dun sa ating last term, square lang natin yung... 3. So, 3 squared is equal to 9. And then, for our third and last step, square the last term. Next example is 4m minus 1 raised to the second power. Okay, so how will you find the first term? Okay, so to find the first term, square the first term. O 4m raised to the second power is 16m squared. How will you find the middle term? So to find the middle term, twice the product of the first term. And last term. Okay, so 4m times negative 1 is negative 4m times 2, negative 8m. So, ating middle term is negative 8m. Okay, so for our last term, square 
the last term, negative 1 raised to the second power is equal to positive 1. Ayan. Since madali lang naman class yung square of a uh, binomial, sa tingin ko hindi na natin kailangan pa ng isang example. But don't forget, the product of the square of a binomial is a perfect square trinomial. The first term is the square of the first term of the given binomial. The second term is twice the product of the first and last term. The last term is the square of the last term of the given binomial. So in symbol, the quantity of a plus b raised to the second power is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And the quantity of a minus b raised to the second power is equal to a, x, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so para naman sa ating quiz ngayon. So, find the product of the quantity of 3a minus 4 raised to the second power and the quantity of 9e plus 1 raised to the second power. So, tulad ng dati, pakipindot lang yung ating post button and then, uh, i-play lang pag tapos na kayo magsagot. Okay, so check na natin. So, number 1 is... 9a squared minus 24a plus 16 and number 2, 81e squared plus 18e plus 1.